This video is going to show you how to cross multiply to add or subtract fractions. Uh, most of the kids like the cross multiplying way better than finding the least common multiple. So parents, if you watch carefully, this should help you out a little bit. First thing I'm going to do is take my two denominators times each other, 4 times 3. What that's doing is going to give me what my new denominator is for both of them, so I'm going to be able to add. If I went through and found the least common multiple, look what would have happened. Same thing. Just cross multiplying down here that is going to get you the same multiple a little over half the time for sure. So after I did denominator times denominator, I'm going to go this way. This numerator times this denominator, 3 times 3 equals 9. Put my number over there, so we're saying 3 fourths is really the same as 9 twelfths. I'm going to go this way. 1 times 4 is 4. We just said that 1 third is really the same as 4 twelfths. Now I need to subtract. 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths equals 5 twelfths. Try another one. Find out what my new denominator is going to be. It's going to be a 10. 4 times 2 when I cross multiply, 8. 1 times 5 when I cross multiply, 8 tenths minus 5 tenths equals 3 tenths. And I don't need to simplify that one. It's already as simple as it can go. Stop the video and you try it out. Here we go. 6 times 4 is 24. 5 times 4 is 20. 1 times 6 is 6. 20 minus 6 gets me a 14. 24 stays on the bottom because the denominators don't do diddly. They stay the same. Here is the one thing about the cross multiply butterfly. A lot of times I'll end up with having to one more step to simplify. Check right away to see if they're even numbers. If they're even, that means I can divide the top and the bottom by 2. So now I'm at 7 twelfths, and that's as simple as it can go. Here's another one. Stop the video and you try it out. 2 times 7 is 14. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 2 is 4. So now I have 7 fourteenths minus 4 fourteenths equals 3 fourteenths, and it's as simple as I can go. One more. Stop the video and you try it. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 1 is 5. 6 tenths minus 5 tenths, 1 tenth. Like I say, with the cross multiply butterfly here, most of the time, you're going to get the same answers if you did the LCM. Worst, worst case is I have to divide by two, one or two extra times. Adding is going to be the same kind of thing as happening. So watch the first one here. 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3, excuse me. 4 times 3 is 12. So that's my new denominator. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. Remember, we're adding this time, so 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths. 3 plus 4 is 7. The denominator stays the same. 7 twelfths, and it's as simple as I can get. They're not both even, or divide by 3, 5, 10. Stop the video and you try it out. 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 8 is 8. 9 plus 8 gets me to 17 over 24. They're not both even. They don't divide by 3 or 5 or 10. Stop the video and you try it. 4 times 5 is 20, 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 4 is 8, 5 plus 8 gets me 13, denominator stays the same, and again, it's as simple as that one can go. This one I'm going to go through and do for you, because when we get the answer, we're going to have to do a little something different with it. 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4, and when we get done with this one, 3, 6 plus 4, 6 gives me 7, 6. The simplifying is a little bit different because this is an improper fraction because the top number is bigger than the bottom. So I need to take this. This 7 over 6, 7 out of 6 really means 7 divided by 6. So how many 6s in 7? It goes 1 time. 1 times 6 is 6. Remainder 1. I tell the kids to make sure that they bring that 6 over there and it kind of writes itself. Here's my whole number, big one, and my fraction part is right there, one six. And the fraction's as simple as it can be, so that would give me one and one six. Stop the video and you try it out. Here we go, five times four is 20. 
4 times 4, 16. 5 times 3, 15. 16 plus 15 gets me a 31 over 20. Again, it's an improper fraction, so I need to divide. How many 20s in 31? 1. Here's the nice thing about this. If I'm only adding two fractions, I know the highest this can ever be is 1, because i got a number less than 1 and a number less than 1. So it's always going to be less than 2. So I've got one remainder 11. Remember, he's coming over here. So my answer is 1 and 11 twentieths. Stop the video. You try it out. 8 times 2, 16. 7 times 2, 14. 8 times 1 is 8. 14 sixteenths plus 8 sixteenths, 22 sixteenths, which means 22 divided by 16 goes one time. I got 6 left over. Bringing this over. 1 and 6 sixteenths. This problem ends up being a little different because in my fraction, part of my mixed number, they're both even, which means I could divide them by 2. So I got a 3 eighths, and this big one always stays with it. So my final answer is 1 and 3 eighths. Last one, you try it out. 5 times 3 is 15. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10. 12 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths equals 22 fifteenths. When I divide, it's going to go one time with 7 left over, 1 and 7 fifteenths. And that's as simple as that would go. They're both odd, but they don't divide by 3, 5, 7, or any other number.